experience real world. Real praise. Real miracles. Real love. The glory is here with Honorable Bishop Dr. Margaret Wanjiro. How many of you enjoyed the conference? If you were in the conference and you were blessed, just say thank you, Jesus, for that conference. That was an equipping conference, an empowering conference, a revelational, revolutionary conference, transforming conference. We were so blessed, not only you, but even me. So touch your neighbor for me and tell your neighbor, I have the gifts of healing. And if that neighbor is boring and is not listening to you, turn to the other one and ask the other one. I have the gifts of working of miracles. What miracle do you want from God? I can perform it for you right now. Sai, see on Bali, right now. I can sort it out for you. Sai, sai, sai. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Isn't our God so good? Our God is so gracious. Remashi kantaba soka bayonda. Now today we are on pour out your spirit on me. Pour out your spirit on me. Hallelujah. Let the Lord pour out his spirit on us. Reverend Duncan, there is that lady directly behind you. Just turn to the back. Yes, that one. Yes. Come, young girl. What are your names? What do you do? Where? But you love God tremendously. And God is going to lift you up to be a preacher. A great preacher. A great preacher. So lift up your hands before the Lord. The spirit of God in me, I release it upon this young woman. Father, transform her. Make her into a great woman of God. From this day, set her feet on high. Enlarge her stepping place. And command the blessings of God upon her. This girl is called to preach the gospel. I'm excited for her. I'll tell you why. Because she's a cleaner. I used to be a cleaner. Oh, some of you missed the point. God will lift you up from wherever you are. Me, I used to be a toilet cleaner. Are you listening to me? So friends, Lift up your hands and tell the Lord me to lift me up today. Do not bypass me, my father. Lift me up today in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord, locate me wherever I am and lift me up. Let your spirit be poured upon your, my life. Let your spirit be poured upon me this morning. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I give you glory my Father and my God. You are the lifter of our head. The lifter of our head. You give us a new name. And today you are giving somebody a new name. Today you are fulfilling destiny in somebody's name. Today you are releasing greatness in somebody's life. Today my Father you are doing great works in our lives. We bless you and we worship you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Young girl, I can't remember you said you are called who. Just give me your hand. Patricia, walk closely with me. Yes, let the Lord lift you up. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Genesis chapter 1 and we are reading verse 1 up to verse 5. Genesis 1 verse 1 up to verse 5, and then we will go to Job chapter 33. Genesis 1, verse 1 up to 5. Let's go, Pastor Joshua. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, 
and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Excuse me. The Bible says when the earth was formed, I've preached this so much, but it can't leave my spirit. When the earth was formed, it was without shape. It was shapeless. The Bible says as shapeless as it was, it was also void, meaning it was empty. So you can imagine this beautiful earth we live in today and we admire it and we love it, but at one time it was without shape and it was empty. There was nothing. There were no animals, there were no people, there was no water, there was absolutely nothing except the waters of the ocean that filled the whole earth. There was no ground, there was no land. Are we together? So everything was so disorganized and nothing could have been called beautiful according to God's creation. Now I do believe, and this is a fact, that before God got into creating everything, he started by putting together the blueprint. Mm. He knew how he wanted the earth to look like. He knew how he wanted everything to be. But now it's not like that. The whole thing is here, but it is void. It is just the ocean sea waters everywhere. The whole thing is shapeless. His image of how he wanted the earth and the image of how the earth looks at this moment, the two were not corresponding. And so God needed to perfect. Somebody say, perfect. I can't hear you. He needed to perfect. Was the earth created or not? It was created. Was it the way God wanted it or not? It was not the way God wanted it. So for it to become the way God had purpose, he needed to perfect. I say unto you today, for your life to be according to God's blueprint, the way God wanted your life to be in the beginning, today God needs to perfect. Abraham was called Abraham. But when God called him the father of many nations, he fixed his life and called him Abraham. Sarai was called Sarai. But when God wanted her to become the mother of many nations, he fixed her life and called her Sarah. Ah, may the Lord call somebody by a new name today. Amen. I say may the Lord call somebody by a new name today. Amen. When God wants us to look like he intended us to look like, for our lives to reflect his goodness, his kindness, his grace upon us, God will fix whatsoever that is out of order. The earth has been created, but it is without form and it is shapeless. Somebody's destiny that you have been trying to take shape for so long and it is not taking shape. Somebody's business that you've been trying to take shape for so long and it is not taking shape. Somebody's career You've been struggling to get your career in line, to get your career to take shape, but it is not taking shape. Today, God will perfect. I say God will perfect. I say God will perfect. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, as you perfect everybody else, start with me. Start with me. Perfect the affairs of my life. Perfect my calling. Perfect. Oh, I don't know whether you understand. We used to, we, we used to when we were kids, and we still do that today. 
you are given a puzzle and the moment you buy it, it's complete. It looks so nice and neat in that package. But hold on, you remove it from the package and you put it on the floor or on the table and now you want to put it back into pieces. Some of the puzzles are complicated. Before you get them right, you have struggled and struggled for hours. Some of them you struggle until you give up. You say, this one, I'll come on it again tomorrow. I have to fix this capiz where it is supposed to be. Then you fix the whole thing and there is this small hole in the middle, this space. You're wondering which piece is going there. I have three pieces remaining, which I can't see any that can fit here in the middle. My friend, some of you, your life is like a puzzle that is incomplete. All the pieces are there, but putting them together has been the challenge because only the creator knows where he created and what he created to be where. And only him can complete the puzzle. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, perfect my life today. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, perfect my life today. Fix my life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Then we live this life in this challenging world where we face challenges. So we are growing up and you know, we will face health challenges. But this was the encouragement even yesterday. Whatever challenges we face on the way, as children of God, we can come to the Lord and say, Father, I need a BCD fixer. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, fix my body, renew my strength, renew my body. Renew my bones. Renew my joints and marrows. Renew my health in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Isn't our God wonderful that he can fix us? That he can put back in order? Now this earth, if this earth we live in at one time had no shape, this earth we live in was surrounded by emptiness. There was nothing in the earth emptiness. Then, even once more, the Bible says, verse 2, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the deep. Somebody say darkness. Now, whenever there is emptiness, the devil will not let go because if there is a gap, he will try to fill it. When you look at our youth, you look at our younger generation, when they suffer identity crisis, the devil will take advantage of that and he will come and take a grip on them and drive them the wrong direction. They go and become drug addicts. They go and start eating mirror every day and thinking nothing else. They waste their life. Why? Because there was a gap. Whenever there is voidness, whenever there is emptiness, the devil will come hovering around. The Bible says because the earth was shapeless and void, there was darkness all over the earth. Somebody say darkness. Darkness. My brother, my sister, you leave voids, you leave gaps, you leave emptiness in your marriage. The devil will visit. You leave your children. The devil will visit. Even your business. I always tell you, it's not your workers who are anointed for that business. It is you. You leave it. The devil will visit. Darkness will hover around. Now, if the thing is shapeless, then it's void. Then it is dark. Believe you me, if you are God, you, 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 if you are God, you'd have given up on your vision. You'd have given up on your goals. You'd have taken off. Why? Because darkness has filled the earth. Why? Because this thing is void. It's empty and it's shapeless. But touch your neighbor for me and tell your neighbor, neighbor, even if your goals look empty, even if your vision looks shapeless, looks like it will never take shape, even if the devil has been hovering around a lot of darkness here and there, Today in Jesus name The spirit of the living God Shall come upon our lives And the darkness will flee 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 
Africans. We love poor people. Africans. We just love when people are not doing well. You go to families and when one of the members looks like they're raising up, they are raises up a witch or a sorcerer in the same family to deal with those who are succeeding. Africans, we don't celebrate successes, genuine successes. Of course we celebrate thieves. Okay, I didn't say it. But we don't celebrate genuine successes. We look at what we want and we want to promote somebody according to what we want, not according to merit, not according to who they are, not according to their education. No wonder we have so many educated people with degrees and masters, all those certificates in their drawers and they are still somewhere trying to do hawking business on the streets. They are still somewhere trying to be artists. They are still somewhere struggling with life. Even they wonder, so why did I go to school? Why did I have to spend so much time and so much effort just to even suffer some more? You are adding value to yourself, but now you don't see it. Africans, we have a way of driving others into poverty, into suffering, into slavery, into struggles. We have a way of stealing people's potential and misusing others. But today I stand in the presence of the Most High God and I decree where destinies of men and women of God that are seated in this congregation this morning and those that are listening to me via online, I decree today in Jesus' name, nobody shall oppress you. Nobody shall suppress you. Nobody shall destroy your potential. Nobody shall steal that which God has deposited in you. I decree today in Jesus' name that anybody that came in form of darkness to hover around our lives, taking advantage of our voidness, by the power of the Holy Ghost, they are destroyed this morning. They are destroyed this morning. They are destroyed this morning in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I tell you, I could have had some voidness here and there. I could even be still having some voidness today. But I refuse for anybody to take advantage of my gaps. For anybody to take advantage of my shortcomings. Because even them, they are not perfect. I decree this day in Jesus' name, wherever they were gaps in our lives, wherever they were gaps in our lives, let the spirit of the living God come and hover around our lives to start closing in, to start sealing those gaps in Jesus' name. Somebody shout, Lord, I hear you. Somebody shout, Lord, I hear you. Somebody shout, Lord, I hear you. Now, three things. The earth without form. One, no form, meaning no shape. Two, void, meaning empty. Three, darkness. Yes. Shapeless. Empty. Darkness. But my brothers, my sisters, God will change the whole situation. So the Bible says, the spirit of the living God. Can I have my three people, my three God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Ghost? Where are you? Those who are in the conference. God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Ghost. Who is not in? Is it the Holy Ghost or is it the Son or is it? Oh, there she is. She's coming running. So you, you are what? God the Father. You, you are what? The Son. Okay, the Holy Ghost is coming. He's always the last one to come. He's always the last one to come. He's always the last one to come. Now, God the Holy Ghost come this way. This is to demonstrate to you. I told you this message 
I will teach in simplicity until it drops from the ears to the heart and from the heart to your environment, to your surrounding, to your life and get it working for you. Amen? So this is God the Father. God the Father has already called God the Son. They have commanded the earth to be. They have commanded everything to be. They are looking at what they have created and now they are talking amongst themselves. Hey, by the way, hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but don't, do you see? <laughs> this thing has no shape, Bana. It has no shape. It's formless, it's, it's void, it's empty. Yeah. So why is it without shape? Why is it without anything? It's empty. Ah, I know what happened. God the Father says, you just need to call in God the Holy Ghost when the Holy Spirit comes. And here comes the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit arrives like this, God the Father began to say, let there be, let there be, let there be, let there be, let there be. When the Holy Ghost arrives like this, they begin now to command that which was not to become. I, I, I don't know whether you heard me. That which was not to become. You are jobless as the Holy Ghost hovers around our life. Let there be job. You are suffering and struggling in business, even borrowing for capital. Let there be money. You are sick. Let there be healing. You needed a house. Let there be my house. You needed a breakthrough. Let there be somebody shout, let there be. Oh, you are single. Let there be a wedding. I don't, you did not hear me, somebody. If you can't say it for yourself, I'll say it for myself. I said, let there be. 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 People are fighting you. Difficult situations you are going through. You are going to decree in that situation what you want. I told you. I told you this. I think this must have been Tuesday. I don't even know anymore it was when, 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 when. But somewhere along the line I told you, when the Spirit of the Lord comes, He comes for various reasons. And one of the reasons is to judge. Somebody is going to judge a situation today and you are going to decree what you want in that situation and you are going to decree let there be. Somebody shout let there be. Somebody shout let there be. Touch your neighbor for me and tell your neighbor, neighbor, the Holy Ghost has come. The Holy Ghost has come. The Holy Ghost has come. Tell your neighbor, the Holy Ghost has come. The Holy Ghost has come. The Holy Ghost has come. In that situation that you are trusting God for, the Holy Ghost has come. In that situation that you are holding on by faith, the Holy Ghost has come. In that situation that you are believing God to move, the Holy Ghost has come. And because he has come, it is done in the name of Jesus. You say, Bishop, you don't understand. There are so many people resisting me. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, friends. Do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear? There was darkness all over the earth. But when God starts, let there be light. There will be light. In the midst of that darkness, there will be light. Now, God is in heaven. You are his mouthpiece. Only you can speak in that situation. Only you can decree that let there be in that situation. In that marriage, only you can decree that let there be in that marriage. Only you can use your mouth to decree what you want. Somebody must release judgment in that situation. Bishop, you don't know. They are fighting me in my office. My brother, my sister, it is up to you now. As the Holy Ghost, can I have the instrumentalist back here? As the Holy Ghost is moving here in a few minutes, it will be up to you to decree, let there be in this auditorium. Let there be. Even me, I have my let there be. Even me, I have my let there be. I read again. Sit down. Go back. With me to verse 2. Holy Spirit, move in now, move in now. Make my life whole again. Spirit, move all over me. All over my life. Sit down those who 
you are standing, sit down. I will allow you to stand in a minute. Sit down. Hold it there. I want to make sure that this is well understood. That you understand 100% that without the Holy Spirit, that darkness will hover around your life until it destroys you. But with the Holy Ghost moving in today, that darkness will live instantly and there will be the blessing that you will decree, let there be. We said this about the gifts of the Holy Ghost. He uses our vocals. Our vocals. He uses our hands. He uses our feet. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. He uses our body. Don't wait for God to rebuke your darkness for you. You must rebuke it for yourself. What is darkness? Darkness are the things that are not clear. Darkness is the attack that people are going through. Darkness is the evil that surrounds a particular situation. And today we are anointed. We are equipped. We are gifted to deal with all manner of darkness. Save me those hungry amens. Okay, I will talk to myself now. Because even me, I have a let there be that I want it done this morning. Are you with me? So, you know, sometimes David says you encourage yourself in the Lord. I might just decide to preach to myself and call it a blessed Sunday. But if I can find somebody in this house who says, Bishop, I hear you. Bishop, I know this can be done. I will stand and I will decree. Believe you me, today, even the darkness you left in your house, you will not find it there. You will not find it there. Even the darkness you left in your office last Friday and it was creating hell for you until you couldn't breathe. Those people with their darkness, with their witchcraft, with their jujus, believe you me, today, 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 that darkness will flee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It doesn't matter where that darkness is hiding. The Holy Ghost will go there. The Holy Ghost will hover everywhere that darkness is. Leo zinatolewa chini ya meza. Under the drawers, chini ya vitanda. Kwa manyumba za concubine. Leo zinatolewa zote katika jina la Yesu Christo wa Nazareth. Sasa mume wako wakirudi nyumbani, usimuulize kwa nini umerudi. Wee jua tu. Giza ilienda. Amejilete. Usiulize maswali nyingi. Anza kushukuru buwana. Na kumuambia ni asanti. Tutaanzia kutakaza na kusafisha kuanzia hapo. Na kutengeneza katika jina la esu. Hallelujah. Ukiona mtoto wako mwenye mbo alikuwa metupa mba ukiasi. Alikuwa metoka kwa njia kabisa. Amerudi nyumbani. Usimuambia rudi maali umetoka. Muambia karibu mwanangu. Giza imetoka kwetu imesha toweka katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Giza ya uchawi na itoke siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu. Giza ya wizi ya kuiba mali yetu na itoke leo katika jina la Yesu. Giza ya wizi ya kuiba na kuharibu kazi zetu na mwito wetu na itoke leo katika jina la Yesu. Giza katika kila ndoa na itoke leo katika kila jina la Yesu. Giza katika watoto wetu na itoke leo katika jina la Yesu. Giza katika biashara zetu na itoke leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Giza katika kazi ya mikono yetu, katika mijengo yetu, katika project yetu, giza katika maono yetu, katika goals zetu na itoke leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye hai. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. <laughs> do, you, do, do you notice there was nothing wrong with the heavens? The errors, the mistakes, the, the 
voidness, the emptiness was on the earth. Heaven was perfect from the word go. Jehovah, I give you glory today because you are going to correct all the things that have gone wrong with our lives. The Holy Ghost will hoover in our lives. The Spirit of the Lord will hoover in the affairs of our lives. And he will ensure that he perfects the affairs of our lives. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, pour out your Spirit upon my life and let your spirit move upon me this morning in the name of Jesus. And God said, now God began to speak, let there be light, let there be light. And he spoke. Turn with me to Job 33 verse 1. Holy Spirit move in now move in now of the Almighty has given me life. The Spirit of God hath made me. Without the Spirit of the Lord, you would not even be alive. The Spirit of God hath made me. And the breath of the Almighty has given me life. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, I acknowledge like Job that your Spirit has created me that without your Holy Ghost I would not be in existence meaning that anything that has gone wrong with my body you can recreate the spirit of God has made me the breath of the almighty has given me life without his breath we have no life Without his spirit, we would not exist. So you want God to fix your heart? Just tell him, create a new one. You want him to fix your hip? Tell him, create a new one. You want him to fix your eye? Tell him, create a new one. The spirit of the Lord is able to restore our health, to touch our health, to heal us as he's blessing us. As he's lifting us up, as he's doing good. Come, Lina, I want to pray for you. As he's doing good upon our lives, get me anointing oil, please. Get anointing oil, Lina. Help me with anointing oil. Watch our letter. 
as he's working in our lives, he's able to restore everything that we need restored in us. In Jesus' name. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, breathe in me. Holy Ghost, work in me. Recreate my body parts, my body organs. Move in my life. Restore me to the original plan, the original blueprint of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Just the way God wanted things to be. Just the way God wanted your life to be. Just the way God wanted everything to look in your life. Let the Holy Ghost restore today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. While I'm waiting for the anointing oil, let's go to Psalms 33. Oh, it came. Mm, good. Thank you, my father. Stretch your hands towards Sister Rina. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We command every darkness to flee. Every darkness to flee. We release the power of the Holy Ghost. And with this release of the Holy Spirit, every darkness flees. Every darkness flees in the family, in the mother, in the sister, in the entire family. Every darkness flees. Darkness, the Holy Ghost is against you and you are commanded to leave this family in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I release this anointing upon her and I anoint these hands to go and do the works of the Father. I release the gifts of healing, working of miracles to go and bless others and release them from every bondage and captivity. I release Isaiah 61 anointing upon you and I release an apostolic covering as you go to minister to them in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Don't you want to give God praise in the house? Go with me to Psalms 33 and verse 4. For the Psalms 33 and verse 4. And read on. For the word of the Lord is right. Uh-huh. And all his works are done in truth. Just stop there. The word of God is right. And his works are done in truth. Ask your neighbor for me, what do you want God to do for you today? Just stand with the truth. It will be done. Hallelujah. What is the truth? Number one truth starts with salvation. You must be born again. If you are not born again, give your life to Jesus today. And allow Jesus to save you. And stand with his word. The Bible says his word is right. This word is never, ever, ever wrong. This word is right. Today, as the Lord is calling us out, blessing our life, releasing his light upon us, releasing his spirit to drive out all darkness, to give our goals and our needs and whatever we have been praying for shape and to fill the void places as he comes with his blessings to take that place that was empty and fill it with his blessings. Today my brothers, my sisters, if you are not born again, allow Jesus to save you. All his works are done in truth. Hallelujah. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Whatever you want is not even in heaven. It is here on earth. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, you know there are many things I need today. From this day, may your spirit lead me to receive all your goodness that is around me. The earth is full of his goodness. Hallelujah. Verse 6. By the word of the Lord, we are the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. May the Lord breathe his spirit into you and let him create everything pertaining our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. He gathered the waters of the sea together as an heap. Continue there, Joshua. Continue. He gathered 
the waters of the sea together as an heap. He layeth up the depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Mm. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He spoke and it was done. Today I am following God. I am speaking. And it will be done. Amen. Somebody is speaking. I don't know who is speaking, but I know somebody will speak. Is there somebody ready here for prayer? You are speaking and it will be done. He commanded and it stood fast, meaning it was established. My brothers, my sisters. When we open our mouth, we are not going to open our mouth. We are opening our mouth with a purpose, strategically. We know what we are targeting. We know what situation we are judging. We know what we are commanding. We know what we want established. Are we together? So you open your mouth with knowledge. You open your mouth with understanding. That in this and that situation is where I want to see God move on my behalf. And I guarantee you, believe you me, by tomorrow you'll be having a dancing feat. You'll be dancing over God's goodness. Why? Because you have stopped struggling to do it yourself. And you have left it to the Holy Spirit to do it for you. Even God the Father and the Son, they needed the Holy Ghost to move around and the darkness fled, and the earth took shape, and everything filled the earth as God had purposed. Let everything fill your life. Every blessing fill your life. Let every darkness flee today, and let your destiny take shape this day. Nobody can stop it. Nobody can change it. All your enemies, the Holy Ghost will put a hook on their nose, a breeder on their mouth, and get them out of our ways. Why? Because the day and the hour of the Spirit has come in Jesus' name. When you speak, let it be done today. When you command, let it be established. Let it stand fast in Jesus' name. Go to verse 10. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Whatever people had planned against you, after this service, it's of none effect. All their works and their scandals and everything they had planned against you, it is of none effect. Yes. It will not work. Why? Because today, as the Holy Spirit is moving in our lives, we are going to decree the counsel of the heathen is zero. Not whatever judgment the heathen had released against our callings, against our lives, today we nullify their judgment in Jesus' mighty name. The counsel of the heathen, zero. They spend nights meeting against us for nothing. Just for God to send them in disarray. They spend money to work against us for nothing. Just for God to approve them by their roots. I, I, I'm not hearing you. I, I told you I can preach to myself today. The counsel of the hidden. All the darkness they had manifested over our names, over our callings, over our offices, over our lives today, now and vowed to zero in Jesus' name. Are you hearing me? Hey, verse 11. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. Yes. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Yes. Whatever God had purposed from his heart to us, that is what is going to happen. The counsel of the Lord shall stand. Anybody else who had tried to manipulate our lives, and I don't know drivers which direction, it is over with this service. From now henceforth, the counsel of Jehovah God standeth in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. Is there a man and a woman who can say 2018, I am chosen for God's inheritance? Are you chosen for God's inheritance? Are you chosen for God's inheritance? 
Are you chosen for God's inheritance? Lift up your hands and say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you upon my life. Holy Spirit, I welcome you upon my life. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, I welcome you upon my life. I welcome you upon my life. I welcome you upon my life. Holy Spirit, I welcome you upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I welcome you upon my life. Let him move in your life and bless your life in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stand up on your feet, every person, and lift up your hands and allow the Holy Ghost to come upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Allow the Spirit of the Living God to minister to you in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, move in now. and tell the Lord I join your command today let there be be it work be it peace at home be it finances be it healing let there be lift up your hands before the Lord oh Jesus went and opened the Bible and opened Luke chapter 4 and he declared the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me today in the name of Jesus may the spirit of the living God come upon you. May him the Holy Ghost come upon you from corner to corner, 
from my left to the right, right to the left, back and front. May the spirit of the living God come upon you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We said last Sunday, he dwells in us. May he function from the inside and from the outside. From the inside and from the outside. From the inside and from the outside. Holy Ghost, have your way upon our lives. Spirit of the living God, we welcome you. 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 We welcome you with the power and the fire. We welcome you. Spirit of the living God, with your giftings, speaking in tongues, interpretation of tongues, discernment of spirits, word of prophecy, word of wisdom, word of knowledge. We welcome you with your giftings of faith, with your working of miracles, with your giftings of healing. Come upon us now. Feel every man, feel every woman in the mighty name of Jesus. Now every person in this auditorium, lift up your voices and begin to pray. Command, let there be. Pastor Jeff, help me here. Let there be. Command, 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 let there be. In the name of Jesus. 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 We command life. We command life. We command life. We command life in our affairs. We command life in our places of work. We command life in our bodies. Life. We command life. Life. We command life. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. We command freedom in our lives. In our lives, let every yoke be broken. Let every yoke be broken. Let every yoke be broken now. In the name of Jesus, let every bondage be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. By the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every yoke that was upon our shoulders, every shackles, be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Fresh money, fresh money, fresh money, 
fresh money, fresh money, even to build GTT in the name of Jesus. I speak now to our careers, to our callings, to our jobs, to our businesses. I command favor. Yes, Lord. I command promotion. Yes, Lord. I command increase. Yes. I say, let there be. Yes. Let there be. Let there be. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Roma Young lady, come here. You, this one. Mrs. Yes, Njoro, they come. Yes. Mrs. Njoro. Rema mama seke riba kato. Mrs. Njoro. Rema mama. Lift up your hands before the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus. 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 Reba baba ba seke, yo raba ba seke di makanto robo sika, meke teke di bosa nama, riba baba sika mayando, riba baba seke di makanto robo sika nama kande, riba baba seke di makanta, yes Lord, rima mama ma seke di makanto, rima mama seke di makanto, rima mama seke, shara baba seke di makanto, yes Lord, yes Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, rima mama seke di makanto. Riba bobos, rika mama seke, rima mama seke. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, for every person that does not have a job, yes, Lord, or wants a contract renewed, yes, we call it done. Yes, we command those in charge, yes, to obey the voice of the Lord. Yes, for the counsel of the Lord yes. standeth today, yes. and that which God has yes. commanded should be established yes. upon our life. Yes. We command now yes. in the name of oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth yes. for every job that is needed, yes. every position to be filled, every renewal of contract to be done, yes. troubling documents yes. to be granted. Yes. My Father and my God, yes, my I speak favor, yes. favor of some start, yes. favor that establishes. I speak favor yes, throughout the week. Yes. Favor in everything we do. Yes, I speak protection yes, everywhere we go. Protection yes, and favor yes, over our names. Yes, I speak great provision. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And now my father, yes. as you usher us yes, to the subject of property, yes. to the subject of land, yes. begin to speak to us. Yes, Every one of us, yes. like Abraham, yes, open our eyes yes. to see even David, yes, David, when he needed a place yes. to make a sacrifice yes, for you, yes, Lord. you provided. Yes. You gave him a threshing floor. Yes, Lord. Provide for your people. Yes, my Lord. Provide for your people. Yes, my Father. Provide for us. Yes, my Lord. Give us property. Yes, Lord. Give us the money Re to buy. Seke, Without struggle. Yes, my Lord. Without struggle. Yes, Lord. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ. In the name, name of, of Jesus Christ. In the mighty Re name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We therefore now decree. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, my Lord. Where there was emptiness. Yes. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Put, put your hands down for a moment. Put your hands down for a moment. Put your hands down for a moment. Thank you, Lord. in a short while. Just put it on the screen. Mm. You know Ezekiel 47 very well. The waters are rising up in the house of God from one entrance, the southwest, the south, and went up to the east gate. From the south gate went to the east gate. The waters are rising. The waters are rising. The waters of God are rising. And as the waters reached the east gate, God declared the blessings and said three things that will happen from that day. Mm. Number one, there will be provision. Yes. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Ezekiel tells us where he started, it was empty. Yeah. Where he finished, there yes. was abundance. Yes. May you enter yes. into your abundance. Yes. Every one of us, yes. we enter into yes. our, our abundance. abundance. Number two, the Bible says that the plants, the trees that grew there, they grew with leaves that were for healing. I decree healing upon your life. In the name that of the Jesus. the healing of God come upon yes. you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Number three, which is in verse 21. So shall you divide this land unto you according to the tribes of Israel. From that day, they were ordered to start dividing the land. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ile ambao ilikuwa ni yao na hawapati hey. From that day Wapoke. Mungu akatoa oda hey. Kwanzia sasa mpate Haki yako ni yako yes. Upate chochote ambacho ni chako yes. Ata kama haukuwa unapata mbeleni mm. Kwanzia sasa upate Katika Lift up yes. your hands before the Lord yes. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ yes, Lift Lord. up your hands before God yes. Father I release yes, Lord. By the power of the yes, almighty Lord. God yes, Lord. The blessings of yes, God Lord. Upon your people yes, Lord. I release now yes. In the name of Jesus yes. Their inheritance yes, Lord. Their inheritance yes. Their provision Their abundance In the name of Jesus I release now receive. by the power of yes. the Holy Ghost. Receive, receive. receive. your healing, healing, financial healing, emotional healing, mental healing. Receive now in the mighty name yes. the of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Receive your provision. Receive, receive your abundance. Receive. receive your job. Receive, receive your money. Receive, receive your good health. Receive, receive your good receive mind. Now. Receive your emotional receive. healing. Receive. receive. Receive your land. Receive Let your eyes open yes. to your inheritance. In, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Receive now. And somebody say, Lord I, Lord, I receive. And give him praise. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. I said, give him praise. We receive. I said, hey. give him praise. Hey. I said, give him praise. Thank you to the Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, thank you, Lord. So, after the waters, water representing the Holy Spirit had filled the temple and had filled people's lives, yes. their inheritance was revealed. Whatsoever you have desired before God, yes. may you begin to receive, receive it. Receive now. To the glory of and, and the, the honor, honor of our Father, Father in heaven. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yeah.